Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, is about safe to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In tuo Vatale Dei, and then glorifica di un tutto meum. Lui come adesso, dice una casa meum, degente non sancta, ma non in limpo, non lo so, no, e me. Quetum steus sfos du, da quale ne fugissi tu al Christi sin cielo, di ufficio me di tuus. Emiti luce, amitum la verità, che mi fugissi, sin le dus, sin dux e monti, montum sanctum torum, che apre l'arpa la tua. Et in tuo Vatale Dei, e then glorifica di un tutto meum. Conte de vulti vincitere Deus Deus meus, quae Christus animam her, quare cum tuo basso. Sferen Deo quo non ai concope de vulti, salutare vultus me et Deus meus. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritus Sanctus, si poderat principio et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In tuoi volatari Dei, et den glorifica di un tutto meum. Auditorum nostrum in nomine Domini, qui feci cenum et terra. Confiti o Domini Potente, Confitio Deo Omnipotenti, Beate Maria Sempre Virgine, Beate Beccaria Arcangelo, Beate Ioanni Battiste, Sanctis Apostoli Spetu et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Filipate, Quia Beccati Minis Cogitazione Vemo et Opere, Meo Culpa, Meo Culpa, Meo Maxima Culpa, Io Prego Beata Maria Sempre Virgine, Beate Michaela Marcangelum, Beate Ioannum Battistam, Sanctos Apostolos Petrum et Paulum, Omnes Sanctos et Te Pate, Orrari pro me, ad Omnium Deo Nostro. Miseriato Obes, Sui Potente Deus, in Spetatis Vestris, Veduta Glossi Vita Metana. Amen. Bugen Sema Sosion, Mestre Missio, Ne Petutorum Storum, Te Giorgio, Ne Sono Impotente, Ne Tem Cos Dominus. Amen. Deus Tu Converses Quet Visita Visa, Et text to the tabitur in te, on send in omnis domine misericordiam tua, et salutare tu nanobis, domine gravi ratione meam, et clamo meus a te bene, tu dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, orre tu. Salve, Sancta Paris, in ix a cui paradeca, in cui c'è in amtaram che il regit in secula seculorum, e lutami cor meum verbum bonum, dico ego opera me al regit. Gloria a Patria, Filio e Spirito e Santo, si poderat in principio e nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Salve, Sancta Paris, in ix a cui paradeca, in cui c'è in amtaram che il regit in secula seculorum. Alleluia. Chiri e lei, Sancta. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus vone voluntatis, adamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, Gracias a ti, usted vi brote, magna gloria tua. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens. Domine Filum Nigelita e Gens Urtiste. Domine Deus, Omnius Dei, Filius Patris. Qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Qui tolis peccato mundi, suscite deprecazione nostra. Qui senes et exeram Patris, miserere nobis. Quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sanctus spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Pezzo vobis.
el conspirito tuo por de vos. Concede nos famílios tuos praesimus domine de regus, perpetua mentis et populi sanitati gaudere, et gloriosa de arte maglie sede regini in processione e presenzi di dorari giustizia, et eterne per fui leitiz. Per Dominum nostrum Gesù Christum Filium Tu, qui te con debita regna tu nevità di Spiritus Sancti Deus, per ogni secula seculorum. Amen. Orde Bus. Degus, qui corda qui venu Sancti Spiritus Illustrazioni Dottuisti, da nobis in eiotem Spiritu Recte Sacrone, ed eus sempre consolazioni gaudere. Ecclesi tu e quaesimus domini precis totatus ad nite, ut istruxis a quisi sasi posi tuoribus in ebesi, secoli tibi servi et tibi tate. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filum tu, qui te cum vivi da regna ad unanitatis, Spiritus Sancti Deus, per ronia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Libri Sapientia. Ad inizio tante secula creatus sum, et usque et futurum seculum non desinam, et in habitazione sancto cor nilso ministravi, et sic in sion firmatus sum, et in civitati santificati sin militer requiegi, et in Jerusalem potestas me, et radicavi in populo horrificato, et in parte dei mei hereditas ilius, et in plenitudine sanctorum vitensio me. Deo gratias. Alleluia, alleluia, virga geste florui, virgo Deum et hominem genui, Pacem Deus redidit, in serio concilia in zima suis. Alleluia! Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicto tu mulieribus. Alleluia! Dominus suo viscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequenzie Sancti Vangeli, secundum Iovane. Gloria a Ti, Vittorio. In Dino Tempore, e Sabant, Iusta Crucem, Gesù, Mater Deus, e Soror Martis Eius, Maria Cleofe, et Maria Magdalene, convidisi te ardo Gesù, Mater Deus, e Discipulum Santem, quem dirigevant digit Matris Sue. Mulia, ecce Filius Tuus, e in le digi Discipulo, ecce Mater Tua et exila fora e cipi, e am discipulus in sua. Lars, tibi Christi. On this, uh, Saturday and the offering of the votive mass of Our Lady on Saturday. The epistle is taken from uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus. At the beginning of time, before the world was, I was created, and to all eternity I shall not cease to be, mine to minister before him in his holy dwelling. So according to his word, I made Zion my stronghold, the holy city my resting place, <coughs> Jerusalem my throne. My root spread out among the people that enjoy his favour. My God has granted me a share in his own domain, where his faithful servants are gathered. I love to linger. And the Holy Gospel today is the continuation of that according to St John. At this time, his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene, had taken their stand beside the cross of Jesus. And Jesus, seeing his mother there and the disciple too whom he loved, standing by, said to his mother, Woman, this is thy son. Then he said to the disciple, This is thy mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own keeping. Now Mary, through grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Omni Patis et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. 
Amen. Carissimi beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass. As we said, a votive offering today of Our Lady on Saturday. This is uh, the first opportunity, really, I suppose, since Easter that we've had uh, time to be able to uh, reflect uh, particularly on uh, this gospel given for today and to reflect on uh, Our Lady. Of course, Our Lady has accompanied us throughout the season and uh, the season, of course, is not replete without mention of her. But today is probably, uh, to my recollection is the first day dedicated really to our to the remembrance of Our Lady uh, since Easter and in the gospel today we hear the foundation upon which basically uh, the church's devotion to Mary uh, comes from is based upon this moment at the foot of the cross where our Lord gives her entrusts her to the aid and protection of St John but similarly entrusts John to the aid and protection of the Blessed Mother. This, is, we, might, this we might regard as the foundational, the primary, primary text uh, that uh, roots uh, our devotion uh, to Our Lady. Of course, it is one of the most moving moments uh, in the narrative concerning our Lord's passion, beaten perhaps only, if beaten is a, is a term we might think of, uh, by the Pieta, by the moment when uh, often depicted of our Lord's uh, broken body being uh, placed in the arms of his mother at the foot of the cross. But this gift of Mary to us and of us to Mary of course takes place just before the consummation of the ultimate act of sacrificial love that our Lord makes upon the cross. Such is the love of Christ for us that even in the throes of death his solicitude is not concerned only for his mother but for us as well. Indeed note how he unites his love for us and his mother together. She, of course, figuratively representing the new Eve. She who herself certainly uh, uh, worked so closely and intimately with God's plan of salvation for us. She representing, as it were, the beginning of the new creation brought about in Christ. And we, of course, are called likewise to follow her example and through the fruits of his passion and death and resurrection to realise within ourselves, like her, that restoration, that reconciliation, that Perfection in balance and harmony, harmony of the whole person as God created us to be, body, soul and spirit. Now this is ultimately realised, of course, perfectly in the Blessed Virgin, such that when she passes this earthly life, she enters into heaven, body and soul, body and soul, realising the resurrection of the body and the eternal life promised by Christ. But though she is arguably the first to receive this, what she receives is not unique in the sense that Remembering that God does not work in our own sense of time. All the saints between uh, then and now have themselves, too, we might say, properly realised this wholeness in perfection of, restor of restoration of body 
and soul that Our Lady received at her Assumption. One of the things to bear or to keep in mind, and it's not an easy thing to do, but one of the things to, to try and keep in mind is God's timelessness. And that when, for example, we pass from this earthly life, though the scriptures certainly and the saints throughout the centuries and the doctors and the tradition of the church speak of places like limbo, speak of places like purgatory, it is wrong to think that, for example, uh, a saint who has died a thousand years ago is still waiting for the last day. They are not. Indeed, part of the reason why we have called them saints is because we are sure that they are now in heaven, that they are in fact enjoying uh, the bodily resurrection that they are in paradise. We believe this because we have the evidence that through their intercession, their influence in heaven has wrought miracles upon earth. They are in God's timelessness, which means they are at the beginning and at the end of all time. We, of course, are still experiencing a linear chronological progression. We are still experiencing time. But they are experiencing timelessness in God. So though Our Lady, from our perspective, is unique in her assumption, in her bodily assumption into heaven. From the eternal perspective, she has been joined since by all those who have died confessing Christ. We know not, of course, how much time they spent in limbo or through uh, purgation, but we understand that they have been through those processes and indeed last judgment. see we have as it were the benefit of hindsight in a strange sort of way for example the book uh, the events described in the book of Revelation in one respect have already happened Satan has already been defeated by Christ by virtue of his resurrection and the final battle between heaven and hell has also been accomplished. And keeping hold of that hindsight should enable us to endure all that we might experience now because we know that ultimately good has triumphed over evil. Love has triumphed over death. And though we understand that the new heaven and the new earth, the kingdom of God, is something that will be realized at the end of time, we must also remember that for God there is no time, that in the next life there is no time, that all that has been and will be has happened. through God's grace and favour we have the ability still in this time to affect to affect the outcome of our lives to affect the outcome of our eternal end a 
and that is why it is this life and only this life that is so important for us regarding our salvation because it is only in this life that we have the opportunity to confess and repent of our sins it is only in this life that we have the opportunity to accept God's divine revelation in Jesus Christ. It is only in this life that we may hope for God's love and mercy. When we leave this earthly coil, we will then realize God's love and mercy. It is only now, at this time, in this moment, that we have the chance, that we have the opportunity to convert, to change, to transform, to be healed, to be restored, to be forgiven, to begin again. Now we hope and we pray, of course, that in our own turn we may experience what the saints in light experience now. We look forward to, with hope, and the prospect of the realisation of God's kingdom, of the new heaven and the new earth. Indeed, perhaps as we get older, we look forward to the prospect of our incorruptible body, that will be given to us in that new heaven and new earth. And that hope, that promise and that expectation should spur us, cajole us, prompt us and encourage us to strive to live our lives conforming to God's pattern for us. Which is all about seeking to discern and to fulfill his will and purpose for our lives. Indeed, it has been suggested that the only way in which we might realise true happiness in this life is when we, like the Virgin Mary, have wholly united our will to his will, our heart to his heart, our mind to his mind. And this is why Holy Mother Church extols to us the virtues of the example given by the Blessed Virgin Mary. To trust, to obey, to love, and to trust, obey, and love even when the whole picture is not yet clear nor present to us. To trust, love and obey, sometimes despite ourselves, despite our fears, despite our anxieties, despite our emotions or the confusion of our minds. To trust, love and obey, wholly and completely, to the point of abandoning ourselves in God. The balance required for each and every one of us individually to achieve the level of self-denial necessary and the acquiescence to God's will and the fulfilment of it in our lives 
is unique to each one of us. We are all called to be like the Virgin Mary. We are not all called to be the Virgin Mary. For such is God's love of us, that he loves us uniquely and individually and personally. And so the love that we see of Christ for Mary and for us figuratively in St. John. Speaks to us of the magnitude of the love that ultimately God has for us. See how God trusts us in Christ entrusting his mother to John. Trust and love are shown us. All we must do is love, trust and obey by return. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus obiscum et cum spirito tu. Orde. Beate de spirito Maria, que omnium potasti preporem genuisti qui te feci et in eternum termines virgo. Alleluia.
secula seculorum. Amen. In Domino Suaviscum, Ecum Spiritu Tuo, Susum Corda, Habemus et Dominum, Gracias a Caumus Domino Deo Nostro, Dignum et Iustum Eis, Veni Dignum et Iustum Eis, Ecum et Salutare, Nocti Vicembre et Ubique, Gracias Agere, Domine Sancte Pate, Non di Putente Terre Deus, Et in venerazione beate mari e sempre vicini saludare e benedicere e predicare. Pae tu rigeni con tuum sancti spiritus un popolazione concepi. Et virginitatis gloria permanente in lumen eterno mundo e fugi. Iesu Christum Domino nostrum. Perque me è stato informato d'angeli adorando menazione estremo e potestate. Sceli cerum que per tutte e per beate serafim. Soci sotazione concebra. Con cui usa nostri svoce e tutte miti uveste pretamu. Suffici confessione di chiede. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sancta, Plenum Cieli et Terra Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
Club Pay Per Click Club. Amen. 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 Save me from my
Eche on your stay, eche qui tarit peccato mui. Domine non sendinius ut intre sub tectum meum, sed tantum declemo et sen nabitur anima mea. Domine non sendinius ut intre sub tectum meum, sed tantum declemo et sen nabitur anima mea. Domine non sendinius ut intre sub tectum meum, sed tantum declemo et sen nabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though Thou wert already there, I embrace Thee and unite myself wholly to Thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Vicere Marvie Vecinus, Sego Tabernum de Teni Patris Filium. Alleluia. Un Domino Suaviscum, 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have, have mercy upon me, a sinner. May St. Catherine of Stenning pray, pray for, for us. us. St. Wilfred of York, pray, pray for, for us. St. Richard of Chichester, pray, pray for, for us. St. Louisa of Alfriston, pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Holy Guardian Angels, pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Heavenly Patron Saints, pray, pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, Pray for us. Pray for us.